Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be going over my goals for 2024 surrounding RuneScape. Starting to do more bosses. My boss log is dreadful as I haven't really done any bosses, but hopefully this year will change that. And hopefully this year we can start doing some bosses. The main boss I would like to complete is the general as we have nearly finished his entire collection log and we're only missing a couple of things. One obviously is the pet and then I think one of the other ones is quite easy to get. So hopefully we can move towards completing his log and then move towards other bosses in the game. Another goal is going to be starting to go for raid completions. Just as my boss log or my boss KC, my raid completions is a measly two and it is something I would really like to improve on this year. I would like to learn at least one raid this year from start to finish and I would also like to understand the raid mechanics within the raid I choose to learn. So my next goal for this year is going to be reaching a bank value of 1 billion GP. I know that doesn't sound like a lot to some of other end game players but reaching a value of 1 billion GP has always been a goal of mine and I believe with getting more boss KCs and hopefully completing more raids then I can achieve this finally this year and then hopefully we can build on the 1 billion GP bank and then go for bigger and better things starting to knock out some of the music tracks as knocking out some of the music tracks again is just a personal goal and i would like to complete as many as i can by the end of this year i would be happy if we managed to get there or thereabouts to the music cape i'd also like to complete the achievement diaries this year as completing the achievement diaries is probably going to be a pain in the ass especially the candoran ones this is because nobody really plays barbarian assault anymore but i'll only be doing that if i manage to gather the fee from doing other tasks on this list from like boss cases or raid completions i will not be paying out of my own runescape bank account i'll be paying it from i'd say like a coffer from what i have managed to achieve over the next year or so and then we will hopefully be going and getting the achievement diaries completed as well this year i would also like to start knocking out some of the combat achievements i think we currently are on the medium tier and that is just because of the pure fact that they changed the point total or we wouldn't have even had the medium tier yet but the combat achievements i've been neglecting the only ones i've really completed is just the ones you get from like a few kc totals or like winter tot or temporos and stuff i've never really actually gone for any of these but hopefully this year we can start knocking some of them out especially if we are going for other KC in bosses that we have not done. I feel like this one will probably grow a decent amount, especially with how many bosses there are around the game and the amount of combat achievements there actually is in the game as well. So working on completing some clue scrolls and as many clue scrolls as possible this year. So this year I'd love to have completed as many clue scrolls as I possibly can. I think we have currently got a decent stack of clue scrolls that we have completed and a good target I want to aim for this year is to finish the entire beginner log. I think we are missing a few things in there. We've not really done that many beginner clues. I think we've only done about 150 of them. But this year I'd love to complete the entire log and I think it takes around about 600 clues to complete the entire log so hopefully we can aim towards that as well i'd also like to push towards the easy and medium logs i don't think we will get them completed this year but i would enjoy if we could manage to get them close to being completed so then we have a pedestal again to move on to in the next new year another goal of mine is to aim towards 700 collection log slots this is because we brought out a new series at the back end of last year and we're currently on about 490 log slots completed i'm pretty sure i did want to get about 500 before the end of last year but i just wasn't really playing that much at the end of last year so this year we're going to be trying to aim for 700 log slots completed but i feel like we could comfortably do that within the next probably six months to eight months especially if we're going for as many clue scrolls as we possibly can and a lot of boss cases where hopefully we can snag a couple of collection log items but i feel like a good starting point is 700 collection log slots hopefully we can do this within like the next six to eight months like i said and then we can move on to maybe an extra 100 or 200 log slots by the end of the year and for my last goal for this year is going to be afking instead of log 
fucking hell. I used to AFK a lot last year, but in the second half of the year, I'll just log out and do other stuff rather than AFK. And this year, I feel like I need to try and push the account a little bit further, as cooking is a very, very good skill to AFK. I've set myself a goal of getting 50 million cooking XP this year, as this is probably the easiest skill to AFK. So this year, hopefully, we can get 50 million cooking XP. We currently have 30 million cooking XP, so I am hoping to end the year with around 80 million cooking XP rather than just logging out all the time when I'm basically sat at the desktop doing other stuff like editing or making other videos and they are going to be my goals for RuneScape for this next year. Let me know what you guys are currently working on and let me know what goals you guys have set yourselves for this year. It could not even be RuneScape related, it could just be life goals in general, but that is going to conclude this video. So I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video and if you have, I really would appreciate it if you guys could leave the video a like and maybe even subscribe if you want to. But I've been Ben and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye. If you guys are looking around for your newest game, make sure to check out cdkeys.com because they have the cheapest CD keys available on the internet for pretty much every game, even new releases. I'll drop a link down below if you guys want to check them out.